Hey Glam Fam, Linwood here, and today I'm gonna be doing something extremely different. So I am going to be flat ironing my hair out for the first time in almost four years now. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen my hair straight, so I really don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. Especially because like I am loving my hair today. Like the day that I decide to film this, my hair is amazing. What's going on? So just so you've got some, some prep into what went on this morning, I went ahead, uh, it wasn't shampoo day, but I shampooed anyway because my scalp told me that it was shampoo day. I went ahead and shampooed with Sebastian's Drench. Um, I absolutely love this line. It is a sulfate based shampoo, but bay bay, when I tell you your hair feels amazing after using their shampoo and conditioner, it's bomb. Um, I had done a protein treatment on my hair maybe about a week ago, and so um, my hair was still a little hard as a result of that. So I went ahead and deep conditioned today with Sebastian Drench's deep conditioning uh, mask. So, what's this one called? Their deep moisturizing treatment. Um, but yeah, just so that way you know, that's what I use on there. The only thing in my hair right now is four pumps of the Giovanni's Ultra Moist Too Chic uh, Leave-In Conditioning Styling Elixir. Is that what it's called? Look at me. Okay, so <laughs> um, I've been four pumps of this here and then I let it air dry. Uh, and that way I could have a good before. So here's my before. Okay, <laughs> anyway, so. Um, that way you guys can kind of see, but usually I don't get this much fullness on day one. So that's what I'm liking about it. Usually I would go ahead and stretch my hair in order to flat iron it. Like so that way I can do more heat free type of stuff and prep. Um, that's still going to give me the stretch, but that didn't happen today. So I'm hoping my hair doesn't end up being like, oh no, you didn't. Cause it honestly operates better that way. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to be re-shampooing my hair since I just shampooed it this morning, is I'm going to mist it and then blow it out because I'm not going to be trying to comb through these curls either. Uh, and then from there, we'll go ahead and get started on that. So tools I'll be using, blow dryer here. This is a FHI heat blow dryer. This is a salon brand blow dryer. So no, it is not cheap. Yes, it is amazing. And yes, if you don't know what you're doing, you will burn your hair with it. So if you're not a professional or if you are afraid that you might, don't get this. If you are a professional and you need something that's going to get the job done and get it quickly, baby. I just put you on. Flat iron I'm going to be using is the Babyliss Nano Titanium Iron. It comes in blue and black, but I love the black better. It just looks more like a stylus iron to me. And for some reason, whatever material it's made out of doesn't get as hot as the blue one. I'm going to be also applying a very small amount of deep shine oil. Now, if you've never tried this oil, this is literally my most favorite smoothing oil uh, smoothing treatment, whatever the case may be, uh, for humidity blocking, things like that. It just gives impeccable shine. It smells amazing. It feels amazing. It's not too heavy. It is a silicone. So for those people out there that are silicone Nazis, you may not want to use it. Uh, but when I tell you this stuff is bomb, it's literally the best serum that I've got. Uh, the only one I think that kind of compares to is maybe the Chi Silk Infusion. It's not bad, but it's just not, it's not up there with this one. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and begin misting this weave. And then I just feel like I'm ruining my whole life. As, uh, so if you haven't noticed, I have on <laughs> I have on a um, workout shirt because if you've never straightened your hair before, it's a workout. My hair, for those who are wondering, is like type 3B, 3C. Pretty low density and it's much lower than it was the last time that I did anything straightening wise to my hair because I'm getting older, hormones are changing. <laughs> wet. Um, so I have a feeling I'm not gonna like it, but whatever. Okay, so this side I've already got wet down and I'm gonna work in small increments. So we'll just do that. I'm gonna put maybe a little less than a dime size amount of the deep shine oil in my hand. Can you see it? That's it. And then we're just gonna emulsify that and massage that through my hair, focusing primarily towards the ends because at the top by day two, it's gonna be showing some oils and stuff anyway. So I really don't wanna put a ton of product up towards the top of my hair. Anytime you're using salon products, start off with less, less is more. If you're using more and thinking more is gonna be more, you're gonna be greasy and it's gonna be way too much product, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna pin this side out of the way. Right. Then from there, we're just gonna go ahead and do this here. Now, if I'm looking over this way, it's because I have a mirror set up here today. Look at me upgrading, got a mirror. That way I can more easily see what it is that I'm doing. Got my Denman brush. They are amazing. And we're just gonna detangle some starting from the bottom, working our way up. Now I'm going to be blow drying with this brush and this is gonna help me get it smooth and all that. So yeah. 
Okay. Okay, so that section's done. Um, I'm gonna repeat that on the rest of my head and then I'll come back when I'm finished. So Allison wants to know if she can blow dry some, even though <laughs> I feel like most of it's already done, but y'all been saying you miss her, so here she is. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Girl, I'll just be snatching, oh lord. Stop being so tender-headed. Uh, disrespectful. Be so tender-headed. Uh, oh lord, the Jesus help section. Yeah, get the Jesus help. So you see areas where it's wavy? Yeah. Okay, so hold on, turn off the blow dryer real quick. In areas where it's wavy, if you take the brush, let me see the brush. Mm -hmm. And instead of brushing it like this, take it and bring it back like this and then turn. And that way it pulls here tighter and you just blow dry through there. Okay. That's how you get it really, really smooth without having to apply extra heat. There you go. Feel the difference? It feels like make a knot and then pull. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's what it feels like too. No, it honestly feels like you're just massaging the scalp a little. But you see how much smoother it gets it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So look, you can tell look at how much smoother it is right there where you just blow dried it. So soft and okay. silky. I can't with you. Okay, so are you saying bye? Okay, bye. see you later, love you. Okay, so now that we've got that blow dried out, you guys can see Allison did a better job than I did blow drying it because, well, she can see the back of my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and section this hair off some. Um, let's, let's start with the bottom. So I'm just gonna separate from ear to ear and drop. Yeah, because that area is hot. We need to get some air down there before I start sweating. For the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my uh, flat iron and I've got it set to 30 currently and then I'll check the temperature and see how I feel about it. It might have to go down or up from there. For those who don't know, my hair is normal to fine. Um, it has a very smooth surface texture, so it's very easy to burn if you're not careful. Um, so I have to take a couple extra precautions and measures and all that type of stuff in order to ensure that my hair stays healthy. Um, I am seeing some single strand knots no major splits though by the looks of it. I just had Allison cut two inches off of it about a month and a half ago or so because it was just growing kind of uneven. I wasn't caring for it but I might have her cut it some more. We'll see. Now I have not flat ironed my hair. Like I said I haven't flat ironed my hair in like four years so if this looks like the struggle bus it's because I am out of practice. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my nylon bristle brush and press against there. Taking my thumb. See it? And I'm just going to press here. My iron's not hot enough yet, but from there we'll go ahead and we'll tap at the root, two, three. And then you just do it as a chase method with the brush instead of with the comb. And there you have it. So you guys can see iron's not hot enough yet, but that way you guys kind of know what motions I'll be going through. Once it heats up, I will continue because it's not there. For those who are wondering, no, I don't put it against my lips. I just put it really, really close. This is how I check the temperature of everything, my food, all that is to put it up close to my face because after years of being a hairstylist, my hands are not sensitive to heat like that. But my face, however, is. I know that looked crazy for me to just do that. It's not, I don't know what to tell you. If it's not directly touching the plate, it's not going to burn me. So don't try that at home. I'm actually going to put this on 35, somewhere, let's put it around like 33 to 35. This goes from 1 to 50 and I'm gonna put it at about like right between 30 and 35. That way I can get just that perfect. Um, now I don't, I honestly don't know how to explain this part to you other than the fact that I'm a cosmetologist. I've been doing this for 20 plus years. I just know what temperature works for what and it's, it's difficult for me to kind of break that down to you based off of like oh this feels like this temperature. So yeah usually with my hair texture I start off around like 360 and work my way up from there. But yeah, we'll see how all of this wants to go. Okay, so taking my brush, applying it in there. Let's press one, two, three. And we're just gonna chase. Okay. 
There we go. Look at that. Now, if you notice, I move pretty slowly when I'm flat ironing. Uh, that prevents you from having to do multiple passes with the iron, and it just ensures that you get it as smooth as possible. So look how that's looking there. It looks nice, right? Okay, so we're going to move up to the next section, and because my blow dry is pretty good, it's looking like I should be able to take good size sections. So holy ghost, this should not take infinity years. Fingers crossed. I see so many people that just kind of want to rush over there, and they do it like... 10, 50, 11 times. <laughs> and it's just so much. I just can't. There's way too much to be trying to put on your hair. Uh, so yeah, I'm not about that life. Go ahead and give it one slow pass and it makes a massive world of difference. Yeah, I need to even out the bottoms. You guys see that? So yeah, definitely gonna have to cut it. It's gonna be so weird. I haven't seen my hair straight in like four years and then it was much uh, shorter. And on top of that, my hair was more dense back then. Like I just had a lot more hair. So to go from that to uh, now, for those who are wondering, I went ahead and did it without the brush there so I could get around my ear without burning it because my ears are sensitive to heat. <laughs> so if my hair was thicker, I would have to take much smaller sections to straighten it out. But because my density is not super high, I don't have to worry about that as much. Okay, now this side, uh, I just, I don't like this side of my head. It doesn't grow anywhere near as thick. As the other side, I always feel like, dang, he bald when I see this thing. <laughs> I know someone always gets in their feelings whenever I say I'm bald, but it's, keep in mind, I don't take it personal when I say it, so you don't have to worry about me hurting my own feelings. Now, right around here, because I'm close to the ear, I'm actually gonna start out and just pull those pieces out because that is hair that is incredibly fine and there it's much more prone to breakage, things like that. So I wanna make sure to section that off on its own and that way I can get just enough heat on it. So for this, I'm actually gonna go in with a comb. And then that way I can just get in there nice and close. Because see, it doesn't take much. That area is incredibly fine. And the last thing I'm trying to be is bald about my edges. Okay, so I'm gonna continue through the end because you guys have watched enough of this to kind of know what's going on. And then from there, I'll let you guys see how it ends up looking. Um, I'm not hating it so far, but it's really weird seeing my hair like this. It's been years since my hair was straight and even longer since my hair was anywhere near this long and straight. This is honestly the longest my hair has ever been in my life. So yeah, there's that too. I just like to apologize in advance in case I'm making any stank faces. It's impossible for me to do my hair without looking like you want to fight or like, uh, I can't see anything, you know. Now granted, Last time I flat ironed my hair, I was still wearing glasses. It was before my surgery, so <laughs> I couldn't see. That could have been part of the reason why I was making stank and ugly faces. But I just kind of feel like when you're doing your hair, you're supposed to make stank faces. It's like watching females put on mascara. I feel like my culture just straight up changed on camera. I look like a totally different <laughs> person. <laughs> I don't know what, what the deal is. Every time I change my hair, I look completely different, um, which is like super weird to me. It's so weird seeing myself with that much hair. Are you arguing? Like, what's really going on? Sorry, y'all. It just, it just distracts me when my neighbors are doing stuff like that. I just kind of feel like if you're going to argue, do it inside at least. Like, don't be outside where we all can see. Because then you're going to be looking at us like Boo Boo the Fool and we all up in the mix. And when I'm out there with popcorn, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't give me a show if you don't want me to watch like it's Broadway. This is it completely straight. Throw it back here so you guys can see what it's looking like. If, if it looks busted back here, just keep in mind I can't see the back of my own head, so I don't care. You can let me know in the comments, it's fine. Okay, so. So here's the back. Okay. I don't completely hate it, although there's like this one gray hair right here. Let me get that. Because the least you can do, sir, is match. The least you can do. Okay, he's gonna be one of the stubborn grays. We're not fighting with him either. I don't mind it. I feel like it's gonna drive me crazy because this is Texas in summertime and it is like infinity million degrees and all this touched on me. It's weird to see like no volume. I just feel like I need to mess it up. There's like no volume whatsoever. Oh Lord, now I just turn into the other side all this shaking i feel like i'm about to turn my head upside down and do craziness well let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below um i will say you know what let me on my ends i'm just gonna put a small amount more of the deep shine oil 
just to kind of help keep them from reverting because I feel like that's what they want to do. And I don't plan on rubbing a whole bunch of heat on my hair. Um, that's just not what I'm about. Do you guys see the difference in the shine just with that little drop? That was literally a drop. Like when I tell y'all, this oil is literally amazing. Um, well, it's not an oil for one thing, it's a silicone, but it's got like an oil in there too. But let's be real. You don't love it for the oil quality. You love it for the silicone factor because silicone factors will give some measure of heat protection, some measure of um, humidity protection, things like that. You guys see my gray patch coming in? So, yeah. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'm sure there'll be some good, bad, and some ugly, but that's all right. I honestly think that I prefer my hair curly. I've just gotten so used to seeing it that way. But, you know, here lately I've been having this bug, this itch to cut all of my hair off. And I was like, okay, if I were to do that, I've got to make sure my hair has been straightened beforehand. Like, I haven't seen it straight in infinity years. So, here it is. Time to go shave. <laughs> anyway, uh, until next time, you guys, take care. God, Jesus is hot. Uh, take care. God bless. And stay glam. You know I love you, boo. Bye.